Hey guys, so I had to choose a reviews app recently. Having a look on the app store here, I've realized that in 2024, there are two apps that have clearly emerged as the market leaders, and those are Judge Me and Looks. I have of course used both of these before on my clients websites, but I've never been in the position of choosing one of these myself. And so I was kind of surprised when I saw the difference in price. Here we're looking at Judge Me, and they have a free plan and a $15 per month unlimited plan. Now, when we take a look at looks, we see that this is much more expensive than Judge Me. $10 a month, $35 a month for every 300 orders, or you can get the unlimited, the completely unlimited for $300 a month. So obviously, that is quite a big difference in pricing between the two apps, and I immediately thought, why would you ever choose looks? So I went ahead and installed both of these apps on my store just so that I could compare what it's like using the app as a store owner, how easy it is to leave reviews as a customer, and also of course the design and the different features they offer, and ultimately, is it worth it paying more for looks? First up, we need to consider that these apps don't have the same focus. Looks has always been about visual reviews. That means photo and video reviews. Okay, that's their main focus. They were the first app that started doing it and I think they're still the king of visual reviews. Judge Me is more of a general reviews app. They have added the ability for customers to upload photo and video and attach that to their review, but that hasn't been their main focus. So if you're selling fashion, for example, if it's important for you to get more of that user-generated content, to get that natural photo and video from people using your product or wearing your product, then that might be a reason to go for looks over Judge Me. Let's take a look at some examples of how these two apps actually look on real stores. Here we have Judge Me on a furniture website, and you can see that they're actually using the photo features as well. Their customers are uploading photos together with their review. They've got more of a classic, maybe an Amazon style appearance to the reviews, but they are very text heavy. They're designed for reading, and that might be the best thing for your business. On the other hand, here we are on a site called Moody Blends, and as you can see immediately, design is very important to them. They have a very visual product. Their packaging is very nice. And so obviously they want to showcase that in their customers' photos and videos. They want that user-generated content. And so here we can see that they're using looks and looks has this very distinct kind of layout. It's known by web developers as a masonry layout. You might know it as a Pinterest style layout. Basically, the items are not all on the same line. It's flexible. It allows for any length of content and they just fit together like tiles. So Judge Me allows you to do this layout as well now, but I would say that whenever you see this on a Shopify store, it's often using looks. That's how you can tell. That's the look of looks. Now, don't get me wrong. Both of these apps will allow you to do a variety of different styles, whether you want the masonry layout or if you want carousels, or if you want the full width rows, you can do that using Judge Me or using Looks. But generally, in my opinion at least, Judge Me tends to look a little bit more formal, a little bit more Amazon-like, whereas Looks tends to be softer, much more playful. Now let's take a look at the process of leaving a review as a customer. Here on my demo store, I'm selling a weight vest for fitness and we have judge me right here and right under it is looks. Now let's do looks first. It opens up a pop-up where I can go through these steps one by one. What I love is that these discounts that I've set up and I'll show you in the next step how I've set up these discounts, but it immediately encourages you to add a photo or to add a video. I'm going to add a photo and I can add multiple photos if I want. Next, we have the body of our review and I'm just gonna paste some dummy text. And finally, we have our name and email. Pretty easy, quick, and it's a pleasant experience. I immediately get my discount code, so I can copy it 
and use it for my next purchase or they also send it to you by email. And we're done and here immediately we see that review. Now let's take a look at JudgeMe and as you'll see, the reason that I did looks first is because JudgeMe is a little bit boring. It's just that typical form, you can see all the fields that you need to fill out and psychologically it feels a bit more like work when you see all the things that you need to do ahead of you rather than taking it one step at a time. So I'll fill out my name and email and submit the review. Review submitted and after I refresh, I should be able to see that immediately. Now you may be wondering about this uh, discount offer, whether that's possible in JudgeMe. It is technically possible in JudgeMe, but it's not part of this um, leaving a review process. As you can see here, there's nothing about discounts. Instead, through JudgeMe, you would do that through the email that you send asking a person for a review. So you go to emails, manage email templates, and edit your template to kind of manually add some text about the fact that you offer a discount in exchange for a review. And then JudgeMe can automatically generate these coupons, but it's all done through emails. In Looks, on the other hand, it is a more user-friendly interface. You go into Manage Reviews, Collect Reviews, and then here we have the various options about emails and review requests and discounts. So here when I go on Discounts, enable the discount, you can select whether it's the same discount for photos and videos or different discounts so that incentivizes a video even more. Then you can auto generate codes or use Shopify discount codes. And this just feels a lot more user friendly to me. You don't have to do as much reading of small text as you do in JudgeMe. Likewise for sending emails in Looks, we're gonna take a look at the review request email and here is the email template. You have a banner image, which you definitely need to change. And then you have the subject, the body, and then some button text. And here's what it looks like by default. And even though you can change this banner image, it is a very simple email template and you really don't have much choice about what you can change. So when it comes to editing the email template, I would say that Judge Me wins because it's just a lot more customizable. This looks a lot more like an email newsletter tool like Klaviyo or MailChimp. You can use various blocks, various buttons, drag them all in and make a very custom email. So if the customizability of your emails is important to you, then that might be a reason to choose Judge Me. On the other hand, if you're looking for the simplest way to get started, and just to be guided through everything and for everything to be easy, then you might choose Looks. Don't forget that you can also use your email newsletter software, whether using MailChimp or Klaviyo or something else, you can also use that to request reviews. So in that case, you don't need to use JudgeMe or Looks for that. You can just disable them from sending these emails. So I think through these examples, you can start to see that it looks is more user friendly, it's more intuitive. And you can do the same things with JudgeMe. In many cases, JudgeMe is actually more flexible than looks, but it is also more difficult to use and you have to do a lot more digging around to find what you want. Let me show you another example. With these star ratings here, let's say you've dragged the block in here and you wanna edit the appearance. Maybe you wanna edit the text here. Maybe you wanna change the color. Well, we click into that block and we don't have any settings. We have to click customize settings in JudgeMe. It opens up the app and look, it sends me to the general settings page, which isn't what I need. I have to know that I have to go back to the JudgeMe homepage or I have to go to widgets actually. And I have to go to the star rating badge. And then finally I'm here and I can change the color and I can change the text. But compare this to looks, when we click into the block, for looks, here are all the settings. I can change the font size. I can add some text. I can make it, you know, this many satisfied customers. And it says right here, use the following placeholders. Count for the actual review count. So I just add that in here. So in other words, looks is intuitive. It tells me what to do and things are where I expect it. As I was showing you with the settings pages, 
they're just better designed because they're visual. Someone actually worked on making these forms easy to use. Whereas in Judge Me, I have to focus. You can do a lot of the same things and it does make sense, but I need to think when I use Judge Me. And I don't really need to think when I use this, it's easy. Finally, let's take a deeper look at the pricing because this is an area where Judge Me definitely wins. So looking at Judge Me, to be honest, I would not use the free plan anyway. I would definitely be using the $15 a month plan because I do want Google Shopping integration. I want Judge Me to connect to Google Merchant Center and show my reviews as star ratings inside those Google Shopping listings. I also want the all reviews page that's important for SEO as well. And as I showed you the drag and drop email editor, the automatic reminders, the reward coupons, these are all not available on the free plan. So even with Judge Me, I would still go for the paid plan, $15 a month, it's an absolute bargain. So not something that I would complain about. Now, as for looks, I would not be looking at the beginner plan either. I would only be looking at the scale plan. The reason is that the beginner plan does not have video reviews. And if I'm going for looks, I'm probably looking for visual reviews and I definitely want video reviews. Likewise, Google Shopping, as with Judge Me, Google Shopping on the paid plan, we have Google Shopping only on the scale plan in looks. Here the main difference is that the pricing varies per 300 orders. So it's $35 for up to 300 orders and then another $35 the next 300 orders. If you're only paying $35, then compared to $15, it's a $20 difference. And I think that's acceptable. You do get what you pay for with looks. I think that you've seen throughout this video, it is more user-friendly. I ran out of time. I couldn't show you the onboarding, which also set up a lot of the things that I would have to manually think of myself if I was using Judge Me, like the discounts, for example. And if it's just a $20 difference for you, then maybe it's worth it to go for looks. But basically it depends on your budget and it depends on how important visual reviews are for you. Use Judge Me if you need something free. Use Judge Me if your product isn't very visual, but use looks if visual reviews are your priority. If you value your user experience, both for yourself and for your customer, and especially if you have the budget to afford looks, then my advice is to go for it. That's all for today. If this video helped you reach a decision, then I would really appreciate if you use my links in the description before getting the app. And if you're interested in receiving a monthly newsletter from me, summarizing Shopify updates and various other tips, then sign up to my newsletter on my website, ed.codes.